the great thing about Waffle House is you can't miss. You will always know what your order is going to be. Some waffle makers. Grilling. Yeah. I look like a big toast. Anyway, we just showed up in North Carolina. We're here. It's one in the morning. Hey, Jer. <laughs> uh, we're going to bed after this, probably. See you guys tomorrow. Show you guys that in a bit, but uh, we actually have two doors, uh, well, two entrances to the locker room. Here's one of them, and out of all the locker rooms I've seen, this one wins. It is big, and actually, with Bowling Green and LSU, the locker rooms have just been getting bigger and bigger that they're giving us. But uh, we got nice big wooden areas. They're resting on the ground. They're super tired. <laughs> but it's just a huge area. Lots of room for activities. Um, we can build a bunk bed. We can build a bunk bed. Some bathrooms. I thought it was kind of weird the showers were like this. I don't know. Just it. It rubs me the wrong way to have the same floor as the show. I don't know why. It just freaks me out. Freaks me out, man. But, yeah, we finished doing everything. We're going to put jerseys and mesh bags and pants in their lockers after the players come and go. They gave us a, well, really, this room can be used for anything. We've decided to take it for ourselves, put all of our equipment in here. And we've got a little, little half door that we're going to dish out wristbands and all that stuff behind. Coach's room is a separate situation also. It's pretty big, I guess. It's warm in here though. It's, it needs to, we need to figure that out somehow. But, and they got a separate, they got a man showering. They got a sh separate, same type of floor. Wears me out, man. But separate shower room and the training room is actually across the tunnel. So here's the training room across the hall. It's pretty big. Oh, we got music playing. Uh, yeah, this is a nice room too. Oh, I haven't looked back here. It says treatment. I guess if they need a private area, they got it. Massages or something. <laughs> Anyway, I'm pretty happy with the situation. I like it. So whoever, I can't think off the top of my head what our next road game is going to be, but I don't know, man. We've had bigger and bigger and bigger locker rooms. I don't think it can get much bigger than this. This is their weight room. This is the door that leads into it. It's a really long area. And they got that sprint turf over there. Pretty cool. We're in their basketball museum the floor from St. Louis. The basketball hoop right here. We're walking around on the floor. This is a pretty neat little museum here. For a, I guess this is a basketball school, huh? <laughs> Point guards, big man skills, they got something for every position. What? Oh, okay. They have anything in Mike? Oh, yeah, Michael Jordan. Scorers. Scorers is falling apart. They're the cores. Oh, no. Maybe we can you know, fix that for them. <laughs> Clues coming out. 
You actually can't. There you go. Scores. Now we know what it says. Oh, they got record books in there. Most points ever. 49 points. It's a Michael Jordan situation here. Here's a letter to Michael Jordan from his coach after his freshman year about things he should improve on. His jerseys. Oh, that's his USA jersey. The Dream Team jersey. That's neat. Duke University's. I'm sorry to hear you no longer have an interest in learning more about Duke University. <laughs> oh, it's Coach K wrote it. Sorry, Duke. He ended up here at Carolina. Nineteen twenty four Southern Champions favored to win. National Championships. Sometime between nineteen ninety three and two thousand five their trophy got a lot cooler looking. Two thousand nine. These are the rings. Okay, so this is their field stadium. That's the tunnel that we come out of. Uh, it's a pretty nice little stadium. I think I heard it was 65,000. Um, that's going to be the tunnel that they come out of. These two big, you know, rectangle uh, scoreboard, video board things. Two on either end. And then today is their their military appreciation day so they actually painted their logo up to be a flag which is pretty cool but it's gonna really mark up our jerseys <laughs> so we're gonna have to deal with washing those later up later um, yeah the red's gonna really suck hard to get out um, nice press box and then over here, these windows actually underneath here. That's their workout room. It's, you know. So uh, this right up here is their uh, is the press box they're giving us. This middle one right here. Yeah, it looks kind of small. I don't know how it is up there. I probably won't be able to go up there to check it out just because it. Uh, they had to take a a gator, a John Deere gator to go around back and an elevator and all that so to get up there so uh, probably won't be able to film from up there I'll have to ask Kelly or Drew how it is but it's open air there's no glass okay so I mentioned in my last video that every stadium is different with their coach comm situ situation <laughs> these guys gave us a, a rat's nest of wires you know and these uh little was a two by four with the jacks that you got to hook into uh, every stadium is different I said that and it's always true and most of the times it's pretty weird and we just make do game's gonna start here soon a lot of rain so it's definitely affecting the crowd and I guess there was supposed to be some Golden Knights parachuting in. That's not going to happen today. The crowd was pretty bummed out. Alright, I'm back. That game was tough. The score was bad. The weather was bad. I didn't want to pull my camera out to film anything because it was raining so hard and it rained the whole time it was uh, it was raining until the beginning of the fourth quarter and the raindrops were so just so fat 
that I don't, I don't know what could have happened, could have gone right into my microphone or something on my camera. Um, but, you know, I had fun. That was a fun trip. Um, it was really cool to go to the basketball museum, see some of that Jordan memorabilia, um, walk around campus. It was a really pretty campus, really big campus, too. There were buildings seemed like everywhere. Anyway, so our next trip is to Texas State in San Marcos, Texas. Pretty excited about that one. Looking forward to some good weather, hopefully. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. I'm Mr. Randowski, and this has been YouTube Gold.